Hi everybody, welcome to my channel, Trufa Survivalist. I'm um, just going to do a series of uh, videos on uh, Fallout Shelter and some pointers and some guides to help you um, play the game better and and to uh, to sort of to master it and, and get yourself uh, a really good shelter going, a Fallout Shelter going. So. Without any more further ado, I'll get straight into the to the tutorial. But um, if you like the the content, please leave a comment, like, share, subscribe, and hit the bell button. Thank you. Okay, we've got a few uh, housekeeping duties to do here. So, this is the daily report, and um, you get bottle caps for achieving uh, a certain amount of objectives and um, this is a score here so we're uh, a B score and 84% uh, the next evaluation will be in just under 24 hours We've got some objectives here uh, successfully extinguish 10 volt fires that will give us 170 bottle caps, craft 10 outfits, that will give us 1,040 bottle caps, and find the mystery stranger nine times, that will give us two of um, new cola, which is very useful. So I'll close that, it's good to keep an eye on that. Myster mysterious stranger. Uh, will appear every now and then and it's usually um, there's some uh, a, a type of music that in indicates that he's he's somewhere in the vault and if you click on him he, he's got a trench coat on and a, and a hat and he's sort of a bit of a, like a spy character and uh, if you click on him he'll turn into lots and lots of bottle caps and, and uh, uh, will get you closer towards that goal of so every time you see him if you can if you can sort of click on him to show that you've uh, identified him uh, that's how that works so this guy here is maxed out Frank Price you can see here this room is the athletic center it increases the agility and his agility is now maxed out his perceptions pretty low so I'll be like wanting to put him in this room which is the weapons center and this increases perception or, or accuracy when they're shooting their weapons so but but I'll do that I'll move them around after I just sort of do some housekeeping you can see the up here this is power uh, and this is the electricity of the vault this bar here is, if it falls below this it goes red, you notice these two are red, uh, and we want to keep everything above this. So that's the production, the production of power, production of food, and production of water. And certain rooms do this production, and um, like this room here produces food and water. It's, the, it's actually the new cola factory. New cola plant, and um, that's this is just a waterworks, a water refinement center, and certain uniforms. This uniform here is a sturdy vault suit, increases perception by five, and this guy's perception is also a bit low. Should be maxed out. I'll have to um, get him in a, into the weapon center to increase his perception but anyway you want characters with uh, so for the purification plant it's perception that's required so you want characters with full perception and you want to give them a uniform that it also increases it so this adds plus five to the perception so that's why you'll see groups of, of people with the same uniforms on in in certain rooms <laughs> So that's how that works. So I'll just go through and do a bit of housekeeping. Uh, we got an attack. 
what this is. These are ghouls. These guys. They've been out in the wasteland too long and um, they've um, turned into zombies or mutants. Anyway, they're working their way through the vault door and these two guys here will make light work of them. Now this guy here, that's Mr. Handy, he comes and helps. Yeah, cleaned up those ghouls pretty quick. Not really much of a match for the laser cannons. So we're going to just keep this guy uh, maximum health. Always have them at max. <coughs> Alright, so back to some housekeeping chores. So I'll just zoom in here and, and click on all these. This is, this is a little bit of a hangout joint. That's Mr. Handy. See, he says silly things. Um, it's a jukebox. Billy's having a dance. And uh, over here is Malbro Man. Malbro Man's behind the bar. And this room here actually um, increases their charisma. I'm not really sure what charisma does. I think it just increases their happiness. Doesn't really seem to. On oh, that noise, just that music just poured. Doom, doom, doom. That was the uh, mysterious stranger. So we'll just see if I can find him for you. There he is. See, find the mysterious stranger nine times. And there's all the bottle caps I got from that. <coughs> so that's how you do the mysterious stranger. So I'll just do some housekeeping here. Clean up all these uh, level ups. So you put a person in this room, and, you, and if you click on the room, we'll say 17 hours and 29 minutes. That will be until he's uh, at the next level. So this room here is is a fitness center and it increases their endurance. So if you look at this character again, Johnny Shaw, his endurance is almost maxed out. So probably the next time in 17 hours when I come back on, uh, 17 hours and 28 minutes, he will then be at max. So the idea is to get everyone maxed out and then to put a uniform on, on them that suits their job and to get them leveled maxed out as well then you want to get them a really good weapon now there's ways to build really good weapons as well there's an overcharged plasma thrower 21 to 27 um, stats and that's pretty good so we want to get that into someone's hands soon so normally what I like to do is I like to sort of arm the from top down so I sort of work my way down the vault and my best guys are up here here see Jason Friday the 13th he no longer has his horror outfit on um, but he did before he's got this is one of the best uniforms you can have this is Colonel Autumn's uniform and you can see it actually increases four different uh, special specials. This is called special strength, perception, endurance, charisma, intelligence, agility, and luck. And this increases four of them. So he's also got he's fully maxed out there, and he's got quite a good weapon here. 22 to 29 stats. So not much we'll do with him. That although that. The Excited Institute rifle is only 15 to 18, but it is, it actually makes them um, much more agile. They'll actually jump around when they use this weapon, and I find that it's a very good weapon, even though its stats aren't that high. So I'd like to have a few of them in there. Um, Thomas the Tank. Maybe I could, I might upgrade him to the dragons more. Now, I might upgrade.
upgrade this one to the amplified amplified alien blaster yes we have a little bit of alien technology aboard now you see these characters have just come back for missions they're outside um, oh someone's died on the mission <laughs> so you can revive that person I think I'll re recall them. Not happy. She, she's not happy. That's alright. He's not happy either. Um, recall. So I haven't been... I've left this alone for a while. And, and what happens is... If you don't check your characters that and, and see their health level. And their stim packs... This is a stimulate, stimulator pack in their red packs. This is radiation for the radiation sickness. And this is health. If you don't f make sure that um, these they have a stock of these, they'll actually run out. But, but if they find enough items um, more than they can carry, they'll come back on their own. So sometimes they'll, they will return on their own. Uh, so just recall these people that have lost so just continuing on on my housekeeping duties a uh, couple of soldiers so what what I normally do that's maxed out so I'll put her back in here and that will send someone else ah scorpion attack now these things are really hard to kill. Um, because I'm quite advanced in my vault, I can take care of the attacks like that quite easily. Early on, that that becomes a you might lose some characters, people might die. Um, it's quite a setback when you get attacked like that. Especially sometimes they'll they'll come out in a vacant room. This is a storeroom. There's no one in there. If you get a a scorpion, radiation scorpion, a rad scorpion, come in here. The longer it stays in there without someone attacking it, um, defending the room, the the sort of more powerful it becomes and it will, will then cause damage into other rooms or there will be a second scorp scorpion come so there will be two so you sort of need need to nip things in the bud when when you get an attack coming to your vault it's always the rooms that are connected to the earth that you get the attack so these inner rooms you won't get the attack Ooh. Don't look at that. Maybe you can't see that, I don't know. Um, so I just keep continuing on here. ghost in here. Well, I don't remember changing the theme of this room. Anyway, we've got the Halloween theme in this uh, this barracks. Maybe it happens by itself during the month of October. It's the first time I've seen that actually. This room here is um, endurance, and and these are uh, wasteland, sturdy wasteland gear. Actually, provides plus five endurance, so that's why they've got these these on. A bit scary, but um, it is the best uniform for this room. So going through, just get the level ups. This is this is the the lecture hall, the what's it called? It's actually called the Academy. 
this is where they increase their intelligence. So everyone's maxed out in there. Couple of characters here. Pretty ordinary. Need to get them a bit higher in level. This is one of the weapons plants where we can build weapons. Now the stuff that we need to build weapons that comes back when people come back from their quests they bring with them a stock of, of, of wasteland goodies and and these we can either sell we can either scrap which then becomes other items or we can we can use them to, to create as as materials to create um, new items from these these weapons plants and um, also we have a this one here which is an outfit plant where we make um, special uniforms so it's just a quick overview and I'll, I'll start I'll have some more videos on on different aspect aspects of the of it I'll just I'll just move a few characters around so you can see so this character here needs intelligence maxed out and everything uh, Dylan Green so I'll move him to here the Academy and generally what should happen is one of these maxed out characters should go down to the to where he was Let's see who goes yes so that that worked out well now if, if there's not a match like that You'll, you might have to do a little bit more effort to, to get the right characters in the right rooms. So, that, so uh, this character's intelligence is maxed out, so there's no point in putting them in there. Uh, this character can go up here to the academy. Hopefully she will come down, and she does. So you can see there, I've now balanced that out. That's Bottle Top Cappy. You can click on him when he's walking around. He'll also give you a bonus. Try to get him. You gotta click on him when he puts his hands up. I may have missed the opportunity. Um, because I was doing other things. Alright, so I think I'll wrap this video up. I don't want it to go too long. But um, if you're into prepping, this is a good game. It gets you thinking in the right sort of frame of mind. And we have a wasteland out here. I'll, I'll, I'll show you out into the wasteland and, and missions. Um, and this is the vault that you build room by room. It's built into the side of a mountain. And this is where everyone takes refuge from the radioactive wasteland. Alright, well, everyone, I uh, hope you enjoyed the video and um, I'll uh, catch you on the next one.